Human immunodeficiency virus, also known as HIV in short, is a virus that attacks the body's immune system, specifically the CD4 cells or the T helper cells, which are crucial for immune defense. If left untreated, HIV reduces the number of CD4 cells in the body, making the person more vulnerable to infections and certain cancers. Over time, HIV can lead to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS, the most severe phase of HIV infection. At this stage, the immune system is so weakened that the body struggles to fight off even minor infections. HIV is transmitted through contact with certain body fluids from a person who has HIV. These fluids include blood, semen, preseminal fluid, vaginal fluids, rectal fluids, and breast milk. The most common ways HIV is transmitted is through unprotected sexual contact without a condom or pre-exposure prophylaxis. Sharing needles or syringes, particularly among people who inject drugs. Mother-to-child transmission during childbirth or breastfeeding, if the mother is HIV positive and not on treatment. And through blood transfusions, although rare in many countries due to screening practices. The symptoms of HIV vary depending on the stage of infection. Acute HIV infection is the first stage, usually presents with patients experiencing flu-like symptoms within two to four weeks after exposure, such as fever, chills, rash, night sweats, muscle aches and fatigue, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, and mouth ulcers. Chronic HIV infection is the second stage, also known as the asymptomatic stage can last for several years. People may not show any symptoms, but the virus continues to multiply and damage the immune system. The third and last stage is the progression of HIV to AIDS, and when CD4 count drops below 200. Symptoms include rapid weight loss, recurring fever or profuse night sweats, extreme and unexplained tiredness, prolonged swelling of the lymph glands, diarrhea that lasts for more than a week, sores in the mouth, anus or genitals, opportunistic infections such as tuberculosis, Kaposi's sarcoma, toxoplasmosis, pneumocystis pneumonia, and memory loss or other neurological disorders. The diagnosis of HIV includes antibody tests to detect HIV antibodies in blood or oral fluid. It can take 3 to 12 weeks for antibodies to be detectable antigen antibody tests to detect both HIV antibodies and P24 antigen. It can detect HIV infection sooner than antibody-only tests, usually two to six weeks after infection. Nucleic acid tests to detect the virus itself in the blood, usually used in special cases, or if there is a high risk of early infection. CD4 count measures the number of CD4 cells, indicating the health of the immune system and viral load test measures the amount of virus in the blood, indicating how active the infection is. While there is no cure for HIV, it can be controlled with proper medical care, specifically antiretroviral therapy that helps to reduce the viral load, increase CD4 cell counts, prevent the progression to AIDS, and reduce the risk of transmitting the virus to others. WHO recommends a TLD regimen that includes tenofovir, lamivudine, and dolutegravir as the preferred first-line treatment for adults, adolescents, and children. Dolutegravir is highly preferred because of its effectiveness and lower risk of side effects compared to older regimens. For individuals who cannot tolerate or are not suitable for the TLD regimen, other alternatives include combinations of antiretrovirals like efavirenz or atazanavir and ritonavir. For patients failing first-line treatment, the second-line regimen should include dolutegravir, combined with other classes of antiretroviral drugs, such as boosted proteus inhibitors like atazanavir and ritonavir, or lopinavir and ritonavir. WHO guidelines recommend using dolutegravir-based regimens for children, with adjustments based on age and weight. For younger children, abacavir and lamivudine with dolutegravir or lopinavir and ritonavir is preferred. Preventive measures for HIV, 
include correct and consistent use of condoms during sexual activity. Use of pre-exposure prophylaxis, a daily pill that reduces the risk of getting HIV from sex or injection drug use. Post-exposure prophylaxis after potential exposure to HIV to prevent the virus from taking hold. Knowing your status helps you take steps to protect your health and others. Ensuring that HIV-positive individuals are on antiretroviral drugs and have an undetectable viral load which effectively prevents transmission. Using clean needles and syringes for injections. Pregnant women with HIV should take antiretroviral drugs to prevent passing the virus to their babies. And that's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative health content. Stay tuned for our next video.